Before we dive into today's video, I would just like to let you know about today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Wix. Wix is a cloud-based service that lets you make your very own website, and I have been using them for a very long time. My very first website that I created out of school to host my animation demo reel to try to get a job, that was made using Wix. The website I have right now was also made using Wix. So it's the perfect sponsorship because I already use Wix. <laughs> if you are currently an artist or you want to have some kind of art-based career, then you definitely need a website. At the very least, you need a website to show off your art to customers, to employers, whoever it is you're trying to attract. It's also a great place to have a little bio about yourself so people can get to know you. You can have an FAQ, you can have links to your shops or have your shop built in directly into the website. And it can also be a place to hold your contact information so that these people and companies can contact you. So if you're an artist and you do not have your own website, then I don't know what you're doing. I like having full control over my website so I can update information, update pictures, make changes as needed myself. You can drag and drop in a picture for your banner. You can create menus and galleries for your art. It's very intuitive and very user-friendly. Here I'm just making a few changes to my website because I wanted to make the web page a little bit wider. I wanted to change the menu and I wanted to change the font that I use throughout the website. There's a ton of stuff you can customize and you can create a very professional looking website for your art business. I highly recommend you create your own website and using Wix is a great way to do that. It's what I use, it's what I've been using and I love it. <laughs> Be sure to check out the link in the video description to get started with Wix and build your own website. So in today's video, I am taking a look at my old animation. I studied animation at the Art Institute of Vancouver for two years and then I worked in an animation studio for a year and a half and so I have some of my work here. <laughs> I've looked at a few things but a lot of it I did not look at. Some of this stuff I haven't seen since I was in school so this will be fun. <laughs> I know I'm just gonna cringe at everything and when you look back on old stuff you just see all the things you wish you could fix and so <laughs> but let's take a look anyway so let's start with the schoolwork okay we're gonna start off with my 2d animation 1 class because that was my first animation class isn't my desktop background just so lovely I got this computer in January and I still haven't changed my desktop background. Okay, let's start with assignment 1A. Or not. Ah uh, yes, the classic ball bounce. Yes. This looks like it was captured by a legitimate potato camera. Oh my god. They had these setups at school where you could capture your work. So that's what I used. Okay, assignment 1B. Oh. Bowling ball. Cause it's heavy. Yeah, showing weight. Boof. Doesn't get much air off the cube. Maybe could've got a little more. <laughs> it kinda slows down. <laughs> As it falls, it's like, and I'm going slower. <laughs> this is just gonna be me bashing my animations the whole time. <laughs> okay, assignment 1C. Oh, something light. A balloon. Oh. Cool. I forgot about this. This is what's fun is me looking at this for the first time while I'm recording. I'm like, oh, what's this? Oh, that. Neat, neat. Assignment two I looked at before I started the video. So here that is. Oh, yeah. He jumped over the candlestick. He's Jack the Sack. Sack of flour. <laughs> Jack the Sack. <laughs> Jack be nimble. Jack be quick. Jack jump over the candlestick. Okay, assignment three. Oh, it has a tail. Jumping over a spider. Just noping right over it. Assignment four. Oh, I think we were given a model sheet for this one. I was like, what's that character? <laughs> we had a model sheet and we had to animate her. Just stuff one in the wind. That one's dark. My camera's probably blocking a bit of that. Now I'm tiny. What's with the Super Mario background? <laughs> well, it makes it interesting. 
I don't really like this animal, or animal, this animation that much. <laughs> what is this animal? <laughs> he looks like a sucker <laughs> with two sticks. Simon Six. Oh, same dude, but he walk. Well, I like this better than that jump. <gasps> Quiz one. Oh, the folding cube. I've repurposed this in other things because I liked it so much. It's not really drawn as a perfect cube, but I think it folds very nicely. It doesn't form itself into a proper cube. The perspective is a little wonk, but this was a test way to do in class. We had a certain amount of time to work on it, and so I drew all the frames on paper and then went to the camera setup to record everything and looked at the video and I was like, good enough, because I didn't have time to do any changes to it. Like, that was it. I basically just looked at it once and submitted it, and I was actually happy with how it came out, and my teacher really liked it too and thought it was really good. It was probably the best thing I ever animated in my 2D animation class. Oh god, here's another one. It says test one. So this is another test for to do it in class. Oh, I think she's supposed to be doing a jump kick. Ah, that is blah. I think again we were given the character design and had to animate her. Now test two. Oh, walking towards the camera. Ah. He's not the worst thing. Why are his legs behind him the whole time though? <laughs> like where's the hip joint? Oh, I have other stuff that says in class. So stuff we did in class that was not an assignment to take home. How long is this video going to be? I don't know, I had all this stuff. Clapping more. Kind of just practicing in-betweening and stuff. That's <laughs> looping so fast. Yeah, because this is literally just three frames. Some of them were really simple, like, here's the first frame, here's the last frame, add one in between. <laughs> These are so quick, but it's just little in-class exercises. Oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> I really like the duck head rotation. Even if it's not perfect, it's just cool. And I like the first one. That one. Probably because it's not blindingly fast like some of them. <laughs> Twitchy. And what's this? It's from a class called Basic 3D Concepts. And they gave us this model and we did various things in that class. It's just introducing you to Maya and working in 3D in general. And so there was a bit of texturing, I think, and we had to animate him and we learned how to add a sky to the background. I don't know, just random little basic things. That's all I'm gonna show from that class because nothing else was really animation. So now on to quarter two of my stay at the Art Institute. I had 2D animation two and 3D animation one. Clopin. Dog. Oh yeah, this. Ooh. <laughs> Mouse sidestep. Okay, let's not look at that. <laughs> <gasps> He's doing a take. <gasps> what? Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> okay, let's go into the folder called Assignment 1. Well, that's dark. I swear these weren't always like this. Like, I wouldn't have submitted anything that looked like that. Baru pop. Badu pop. Badu pop. <laughs> Assignment three. I love you. Is that what he's saying? I don't know. I can't remember. 
I love you. I love you. Yo. <laughs> I love yo. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Yes, I'm picking up this heavy thing. Ooh, I picked it up and I lift it above my head. It's me, Thumbhead. Oh wait, that's not even the final one. Oh, right. <laughs> that's awkward. <laughs> Assignment five. What's this? This is another one where we had a model sheet we had to follow. And then animate her. Her face just doesn't change at all until she reaches it. Okay, assignment six. Oh, he's jumping in place. All right. Okay. And then test. <laughs> it's heavy. Is that it? I thought there were other things. Like there was a walk cycle I had to do that I remember I just hated and I can't find that in here. <laughs> I don't know where anything else is, but that's enough for now. <laughs> I didn't think I'd have that much animation to show in this video, but there's a lot here. Oh, I found a 3D walk cycle. Front view. Ah, yes. Oh, this is not properly looping. <laughs> I'm not sure if I actually had another frame in there or if this is Windows Media Player. I mean, the other one's looped pretty fast because when you animate, you make the first and last frame the same. But then when you loop it, you have to chop off the last one. Otherwise that frame's been held too long. And I don't have any other programs that play AVI files. So I'm stuck with Windows Media Player for some of these. Ball jump blocking AVI. That's blocking. What's this? Oh, the little tail thingy. Oh, it wiggle. <laughs> T-Rex. Oh, oh yeah, we had to have kind of a little idle animation against not looping properly, but that's a little T-Rex dude, a little skeleton. Pretty much just being introduced to 3D stuff. Yeah. Cool. I'm not sure if there's anything else for that class, but that's all I have in my folder. A lot of these are Maya files and I can't open them. Okay, animation two. Why are none of these looping nicely? I think it is just sticking because it sticks on frame 24. I think that's just what I'm using to view these with. Hold on real quick, I'ma download QuickTime. So it turns out that by downloading QuickTime, it totally messed with OBS in my screen recording and it just recorded everything as black from this point forward. So now I have to refilm it and you don't get my true first reaction to this stuff. You got two cute little babies though. Little kiki's over there on the copic case. So here's the side view of the animation. Woo, woo, okay. <laughs> and three quarter view. Pop, 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 pop. Just his expression, he's like, yeah. But it was supposed to be a neutral expression because then we had to do a personality walk. I think she's supposed to be in high heels and it's meant to be like, oh, super girly walk. Oh yeah, so good. <laughs> there is a baseball slide animation. He run, he run, he slide. Oh yeah. <laughs> then there's a run cycle, which I'm not a huge fan of. Oh, I guess I should loop that. He just seems like he's really floaty or something. <laughs> That's the three quarter view. Whoa. Oh, I missed this one when I first did my first film through of this. I didn't even see this one. Personality run. Oh gosh. <laughs> and last but not least, three quarter view. Then there is a run and jump. Oh, there's a three quarter view. See, this is a different folder than I was looking at last time. I actually missed a bunch of videos. It was meant to be that we're coming back to this. So in this one, he's running, jumping. Yeah. Oh yeah, great. But there's also three quarter view, which I did not see last time. Oh yeah, yeah, boy. 
And then we have the sidestep. Whoop. <laughs> All right. And there is a dialogue here that I don't really want to show because I later refined it and included it in my demo reel. So I'll show the refined one after. That's the one that's called Fire. I'm gonna show the monologue, even though I did include that one in the demo reel as well, but I completely changed it. So let's look at this. <laughs> um, ah, we got Middle Lake. Oh, that's loud. You know, I got my ice fishing gear in my van. Lakes around here, they stay frozen until May. By then, there'll be nothing left of the guy, right? It annoys me how his face is out of view for like half of it. The point is that you're animating a monologue, and so when he's out of frame half the time, like, it doesn't make sense to me. Okay, here is another assignment. Though it's easy to pretend, I know you're not a fool. What is the point of that game? Oh, it gives you uh, points depending on how good you sing. Oh, that's so mm -hmm. bad. I'm the high score. You're the only one that's ever played it. <laughs> God. Now there's also some vector animation because I had a Toon Boom class. I can only find a few things here. There's my jungle girl. Where is the video for that? I had to make a little puppet and then just move her parts pretty much. You weren't supposed to draw any in-betweens. Just really move the parts around. Build the rig and animate it. Oh. I think the background's actually super cute. I like the colors in this. <laughs> then we have some kitty rotoscoping. Rotoscoping is when you just trace over stuff, basically. So I traced over this clip I had of this kitty at the farm, but I left the original background in because I thought that was a neat look to have real background with cartoon characters. The blue sock monster was actually my foot. And then the yellow one I just added in as something extra to the video. I pretty much duplicated the first one and just changed the color. <laughs> then there's this lippy assignment. I didn't actually animate it, I don't think. I moved him across the screen. Hey, come back. But we had to do different effects to this. We're just learning different functions in tune. Boom, that's not the same thing. Don't make me open it in QuickTime. We had to do things like adding transparency to the smoke and a glow to the fire and just piecing the elements together in general. The dog is a little transparent and he has a glow. I don't remember if that was a requirement or if that's just how I did mine because everyone did their assignment differently. You could control what happened in the scene. You're just given the assets and you have to put them, put them together. And so he's a ghost and he just walks right up the smoke because I thought it was funny. <laughs> And then I had a second vector animation class where I created a little short that involved a little puppy. First I'll show you the animatic and then I'll show you the actual finished animation just so you can see the progression. It's called Puppy Dream World because he's dreaming and there's this weird tentacle thing and it tickles his back and then there's more and they're chasing him and he run! He run, but then they get him and they lift him up, but it turns out it's just his owner's arms. Oh, he's so cute in that final frame. He doesn't have that face in the finished animation, but just this little face right here is just so cute. Okay, here's the finished one. <laughs> Take a take, womp, womp. <laughs> that turn's kind of weird. You run, you run. Ah! Oh, he did have that face, but then he turns. Okay. So I did have the cute face in there. Again, I'm finding stuff that I didn't see before. This is a little hop cycle for a pencil. Is it going to play? I guess not. Well, you get the idea. <laughs> Pencil hopping. So that was for an animation that I showed on Twitter actually earlier, which is what inspired me to do this video because I found some of my old stuff. I think I'm missing a bunch of files. I don't know. I think I'm maybe missing some files or just like little things we did in class. I'm not sure. But before I show the pencil animation, I first want to show the pencil animatic because I had a storyboarding class 
and that's when I first came up with this whole pencil idea. So I have a 2D animatic, which is just a storyboard set to time, and it's a little slow at parts, but I want to show this first because it's actually different from what I ended up animating in the end because when I did the 3D animation, my instructor wanted me to simplify it a lot more because I had five pencils. He's like, how about if it's two? And we reduced the number of events and switched up some shots and stuff. So yeah, first we'll show the original thing. So this guy puts pencils in a cup and they're like, yeah, yeah, sweet. And one of them gets grabbed. It's a little slow at the beginning. <laughs> and then he gets sharpened. Ah, this is bad positioning of the fingers because it's covering the face but he got sharpened and they're shocked oh no maybe I should just not talk <laughs> I'll be silent in the the 3d animated one <laughs> and he's also chewing on him <laughs> and sticks him in his ear ah and there's chunks on him <laughs> <laughs> Sad times. And then they decide they need to get out of here. So they get out of their cup and they decide to make a run for it. And this is all modeled off the, eh, the apartment I lived in at the time. They're jumping off the desk, but one of them falls through the vent. Oh no! <laughs> so then there were four. <laughs> and they're sneaking past the human in the kitchen, but then there's a dog. They gotta run from the dog. And they try rolling away under the door. But the dog gets one of them. Ah! <laughs> then there were three. <laughs> and they make it out into the street. And they're like, yay, we made it. And then they get run over by a car. <laughs> so that was for a storyboarding class. And then my animation instructor really loved it and wanted me to do some 3D animation for it. This was never taken 100% to completion, but I'll show you what I have. I had to model and rig the pencils for this. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little pencil hop. He suggested I don't actually have a dog and just have the sound of a dog. Or was it she? At this point it was my other instructor, so yeah, she. <laughs> it was a he. I'm confused because I did show this to my other instructor once I got a different animation instructor, but she didn't want me to use it on my demo reel because it was one, too long, and two, the character designs are too simple, so you couldn't get in, I don't know, the subtleties of human facial acting and whatnot, so yeah. Because pretty much in my last quarter of animation, we had to take ones we'd done in previous classes and refine them for the demo reel, but I actually ended up doing a couple from scratch. So there are two old ones I refined, then two that I made completely new. And to show you those, we'll go to my demo reel, because... They look the best there and they're fully rendered. Well, <laughs> I wasn't very good at lighting and rendering and stuff, so they don't look that good. Also, I hate the title cards between each animation. It just takes too long. Let's -a go. <laughs> this is what I submitted to studios to try to get hired. Uh. <laughs> Mom says hello. I'm going to get out of here, oh. and I'm going to set you on fire. So many things I'd fix. Did you get any of my letters? I mean it. Fire. There was a fad of doing really noodly, wiggly animations, and so everyone had to do one of them. <laughs> and this was mine. So that's why he's a little... Sweet. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Then here's the redo of this one. Huh, we'll dump them in the lake. You know? I got my ice fishing gear in my van. Lakes around here, they stay frozen until May. By then, there'll be nothing left of the guy, right? <laughs> Better, but still could use a lot of improvement. 
Hey, did you get my email about me wanting to pitch you movie ideas? I did. Did you get my response to that? Oh, I didn't. All right, first up, it's a movie, but it's also a sweater. What? <laughs> you can wear it, you can watch it, you can do whatever. Look fabulous, be good. It's Sweater, the movie. No. <laughs> that is not my phone number anymore, by the way. Don't even try. I have a BC number now. <laughs> now, before we end this video, I do want to show you a little bit of animation from the studio I worked at. I don't have a lot of the files that I did, but I have some things. I also didn't just animate, I also did a lot of 3D layout, kind of like blocking in scenes and things, and like things like reviewing animation for fixes. I basically did everything <laughs> animation related. I even posed characters for promotional posters, things like that. The main things I worked on were a TV series called Kagagi the Raven, and then there was the Pixies movie and there was a Howard Lovecraft movie, but we weren't very far into Howard, Love Howard Lovecraft when I left, so I don't have any of my files from that. But I have a few things from Pixies. First, let me show you an example of blocking in a scene. Now these are all <laughs> separate files for each. Oh god, they're gonna be opening up on the wrong screen again. They were opening up on the right one before. Anyway, there's an example of not really animating it, just kind of moving him. Blocking it out, yeah, oh, let's see, yeah, it goes there, oh, now I have it looping properly, I just had to click the loop button twice. He's basically sabotaging a bunch of things, some of them have no movement at all, but I did a lot of that kind of stuff. Ooh, he sits up, he goes to the bathroom, <laughs> so that's an example of the layout stuff. So here's a shot I did of Joe, the protagonist, walking up to his house. Again, none of it's rendered, these are just play blasts, but he's walking up the front step to his house. These were for a movie, but it wasn't high budget or anything like that, and I was usually doing two shots a day. For some longer ones I'd spend a whole day on it, but other times it was like two, even three shots, all animated in one day, so it was quick. And we weren't allowed any overtime, so this is just a regular eight-hour day. So it's not my best animation. Like, I could have done better if I had more time. For this one, I actually compiled all my play blasts into one video, so this is nice. <laughs> this is a little painful to look at because when it's zooming in on the window, the King Pixie just does not have enough movement. He's way too stiff. And there's also a part where the one guy, the page, says, sir, but I didn't animate the mouth because that line was cut out. Also, the king, Pixie, was voiced by Christopher Plummer. Ooh. You, you vile giant, you think you can come into our world, destroy the natural beauty that surrounds us? No, sir, not today, not on my watch. <laughs> There's no sound effects or anything added yet. <laughs> Sir? Die, human scum. No, please! Take the king up! Oh, sir. It's you. Eh? What is it? Your sons, my king. They are late for their fitting. Go! Get them! Oh, man, I really wish I had the fully rendered version of this. You! I should just buy the movie. <laughs> That's probably actually my favorite scene that I have here in these folders. Oh, wow. You've really let this place go. And yourself. <laughs> Have you not moved at all? I think and this is one of the ones I had to animate really me. fast. Why? So you can trip me again? Set my broom on fire? Continue to ruin my life? No, no. I never. Look, I didn't want to do it. This was all because of my brother, and he would have hated this. He always used to tell me to treat people how you want to be treated. Do unto others. Huh? We humans have a saying, do unto others as you want done unto you. That sounds like my brother. My mom used to say it. That's why I gave up. I deserved your punishment. God, I hate watching these back. <laughs> I like the king one, but I don't like the other one. I don't have a compilation for the next scene, so I'm gonna try to just bring them all into Premiere Pro and combine them that way. Okay, I think I've reordered these properly. There are a couple I'm not so sure about. So let's begin. The woman, Michelle, 
was voiced by Alexa Vega. Woo! Okay, let's go. Welcome to the Lord of Plenty, where food is thy medicine and medicine is thy food. My name is Alex and I will be your server. Please look over our menu. That okay, turn. Super young lad. Oh yeah, he looks thrilled to be here. Ah, ah, are you kidding me? What? Oh, uh, the menu. They have uh, durian. Oh, you like durian? Sure, yeah, I love it. Uh, just like mom used to make. I've, uh, it's a ritual I have. I use the menu and I slam it shut. Then I, I, uh, work it like a butterfly and I get the aroma of the kitchen in. Mmm. Um, I've never heard of that. Mmm. <laughs> oh, wow, you are so right. I could totally smell the miso. Look out! Fig, are you hungry, sir? How about I bring you some bread? <laughs> are you okay? Yeah, I had a horrible experience at Christmas once. Figs were involved. It didn't end well. Oh, tell me about it. The holidays can be pretty traumatic. This one time, my mom and I were decorating our tree when my dad came in and, um... <sighs> Your bread, what will you be having today? Oh, I'll have the organic portobello sandwich with a side of vegan soy and tofu fries, please. Joe? Uh, I'll have the same. Does it come with bacon? Meat is death. Hold the bacon. <laughs> so corny. Everything all right, Joe? Yep, yep, doing good. Just... That might be where I'm missing my thingy. No, but she's not visible in the shot. Ah, oh, but he has a sign that fits. Can never mind. Just keep for more figs. Well, anyway, so we were decorating our. Oh, it's on! I just found where it all goes. <laughs> okay, this should be good. Everything all right, Joe? Yep, yep, doing good. Just keeping an eye out for more figs. Well, anyway, so we were decorating our. Oh, it's on! Let's do this! What are you talking about? Oh, it's on the animal shelter. It's on. It's, it's open. Let's go to the animal shelter. Oh, that is so incredible. Yes, let's go there right now. Look, I'll cancel our order and we can go to my parents for dinner later. This is getting out of control. I said stay away. <laughs> yeah. So that's the scene there. <laughs> that's not everything I've animated, but that's what I want to show in the video. <laughs> this is actually turning out to be way longer than I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to do a quick outro. That's some of my old animation. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.